morning. I am Surbhi from Landmark Immigration, and today we have Mr. Suraj Ridas from Gizna Business School. And students, it is a very good opportunity if you are looking to apply for Germany. It is the best opportunity for you. If you have any question, you can put your question in the comment section, as I always say, and you and we will solve all your queries after the session. Thank you so much, Suraj, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here. It's always a pleasure to speak to you and why are you to all these students and help them out uh, make this uh, very important decision of their life. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to all the questions today and uh, to a very productive session. OK, thank you so much. And before going on to anything, because all our students know that uh, Germany has opened their borders for our students and students have successfully reached over there. So first of all, I want you to please explain us about the procedure, how they have reached and what kind of experiencing experiences they are sharing with you. Yeah. All right. So um, first of all, students have been very happy uh, with the entire process that has taken place there. So I have not had any complaints at all. Um, a couple of students did test positive on reaching Germany. Uh, so basically they have to undergo a test at the airport and uh, a couple of them uh, tested positive and they have been advised home quarantine and uh, so uh, th they don't have any symptoms at all so they're asymptomatic so uh, uh, the process right now is that even if you test positive you are asymptomatic and there's no need for you to uh, get go to a hospital you can home quarantine for 14 days undergo uh, another test and if you test negative then there's no restriction at all only in case you are corona positive you are advised to stay at home everybody else can uh, if they have tested negative then there's no restriction in place you can as much as you want that is number one uh, these students is that whoever has reached germany and uh, they will be starting their face-to-face -face classes uh, an update to that is along with the face-to-face -face classes cameras have been installed in all of our classrooms so that all of these classes will also be telecast live to students who have not been able to travel yet so this is to ensure that anyone who has not been able to get let's say tickets or has not been able to get a visa approval yet those students can also join the september and october batch uh, along with all the other students and as soon as they get their visa approval they can then book a ticket and travel to germany and continue from uh, uh, for the next day onwards uh, via face-to-face -face classes so this ensures that they do not lose any more time uh, staying at home, not doing anything. Instead, they can start with their course. Plus, this also helps them uh, save a little bit of money uh, 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 because in terms of uh, living expenses, uh, they won't spend that much in India as compared to Germany. And third thing is this does not affect their post-study work visa. They still get 18 months of post-study work visa. So that is something that is very important. Uh, students, whoever is uh, willing or opting to start with online classes from India, they do not have to worry. Uh, they will still get 18 months stay back in Germany after completion of their program, just that they need to complete at least six to seven months of face-to-face uh, -face classes in Germany. So they can do one module or two mod even two modules from India and then travel and then complete the program and get 18 months stay back. That is nice. That is very nice for our students. And uh, also I want uh, you to highlight something about the online classes. Uh, would it be recorded or would it be live? that i want you to please highlight okay uh, so these are these are live classes so as i said uh, cameras have been installed in all of our classrooms so whatever is taught in the class um, so students will get the same experience because they will be watching live videos of the class along with that they'll uh, they'll also be uh, an interactive screen wherein uh, the uh, teachers will be able to answer any queries raised by the students who are joining online Right. So it would be almost like on every seat, there is a virtual student sitting and this teacher can see uh, and hear their queries and solve them out and assist them with anything that they need. So it's almost like a normal classroom, just that uh, uh, it's a little more distanced. Uh, that is how it is done. So uh, we have different programs from different universities. So uh, Kingston uses a different software for this. Uh, University of Law uses Blackboard. Um, uh, for the uh, global uh, programs, they use um, uh, Microsoft Teams. So different universities are using different uh, softwares, but uh, the net effect of all of them is the same that the classes will be um, transmitted live 
as per the normal schedule and students can watch these um, join these as classes live and in case they miss out on any of these sessions they can always uh, see the recordings as well later on so that they do not miss out on any of the content so that is a primary objective students should not feel that they have missed out on content because of let's say they were unable to join at a particular time or they joined there were some network issues or anything like that so they'll not miss out on anything there is a backup for everything this is a good very good opportunity for our students even if they are not uh, now has not been issued with their, with their visa they can still go for the online classes and once they will get the approval they are all allowed to go to germany so students absolutely yes exactly so sir i also want you to tell us what is the recent intake our students can apply for the recent one so the next intake is in and of september so end of this month and uh, mid of october so the last date for to join these classes would be 18th of october 18th and 19th of october and uh, these programs are from university of law uh, the benefit of joining or starting classes now online would be that students who are joining us for the september and october batches this year in 2020 they are getting th uh, an additional scholarship of around 2000 euros so um, that is an additional benefit in, in uh, so in addition to saving the money on uh, let's say the um, uh, living expenses by start starting your program online students also get a benefit that they get 2000 euro scholarship additional to whatever scholarship was already given so uh, earlier we were issuing scholarships were 20% uh, so for october batch we are giving 33% scholarship so an additional benefit to students for around uh, 2000 euros so that is something the students have to look forward to yes exactly and students uh, if you want to start your journey in germany so you should you are very much encouraged to apply for the october batch because it will save a lot of your time and once you receive your visa you are all allowed to go to germany because most of our students have reached there and they are studying successfully so it is it yeah. is highly in addition i would also like to alleviate uh, any concerns that the students might have that because sometimes they believe that uh, whoa, whoa, if i uh, join uh, the online classes then uh, what happens if my uh, visa is rejected in such cases your uh, deposit money is refunded so you do not have to worry about that in case you are not happy happy with the classes uh, there is nothing binding about it you can always defer to the next intake and say that oh i just want to uh, uh, study face to face you have that option so there is no nothing mandatory about it it's not like we'll force you to do it but we would like you to try it and see if you like it you are able to do it successfully so you have 8 weeks um, to uh, start the program and within these 8 weeks you can join in the classes you can uh, learn with you can see uh, how it goes and if you are happy with it you can proceed if you are not happy with it you have any issue just raise it with us we'll try to solve it or if you don't want to continue with online you can always defer to the uh, next intake which would be in january after that would be in april so you have that option as well so you so that you have peace of mind while studying so this is something very great for our students at least if they are not comfortable with online classes so they can defer it for the january intake and for sure for january you will fly and can study face to face classes hopefully we are hoping for the best absolutely so as we have yeah so sir as we were talking that we have different universities with us so can you please now explain to our new student what is gizma business school and what kind of universities are there with us all right so um gizma business school has three campuses in germany we have uh, one campus in hanover the second one in berlin and the third one in hamburg on these campuses we have programs running from three different universities and a language school so we have a global e call the management from france which is a uh, world which is ranked among top 50 in the world then we have a uh, university of law uh, from uk which is over 100 years old university very reputed and then we have kingston university from uk again a very reputed uk university so the way it works is uh, that uh, these universities teach their programs at our campuses so most of the programs are taught at our berlin campus then we have some programs running at our uh, hamburg campus and uh, language programs running at our hanover campus so um what happens is uh, that the teaching part academics is taken care of by these universities their teachers fly down to our campus 
teach their respective modules and then they fly back this ensures that there is no dilution in quality so whatever degree or whatever quality of education you would receive at their parent campuses the same quality you receive at our uh, gizma campuses as well uh, the degrees at the end of these programs are awarded by the particular university so university of law kingston university and grenoble ecol the management uh, gizma takes care of all the all the other things we help you with accommodation we ha- we help you with your career services we help with the recruitment visa services your visa extension your 18 month uh, stay back extension your accommodation all of these things are taken care of by gizma business school so that is how it goes in terms of program offerings we have uh, undergraduate postgraduate and language programs so we have uh, uh, most of the programs are related to business so you have international business management both bachelor's and masters you have business marketing uh, you have uh, international uh, marketing human resources management then we have excellent programs related to it uh, we have a very good uh, cyber security program uh, an amazing business in, uh, intelligence business analytics program then we have a uh, project management for engineers then we have uh, Uh, human resources management and strategic business management for students from uh, arts background somebody who wants to do a finance related program can do either financial risk management or corporate financial management so there are uh, a lot of opportunities lot of options available for this these students so uh, doesn't matter what background you currently are uh, from uh, let's say you have you have done bsc uh, psychology or biology or let's say you have done a ba in hindi or ba in punjabi you still have options uh, available to you uh, using which you can join one of the programs and get your visa successfully and reach germany uh, uh, here i would also like to say that there is another option let's say in in some cases students due to whatever reason they have not been able to secure 50% marks in their degree but they have a lot of experience after that even for those students we have options available we can accept such students and uh, uh, provided they can prove that they have enough managerial experience so we take those cases on uh, on a case by case basis but yeah we do accept such cases and students uh, with um, below 50% marks in their degree do not have to be disappointed and they can apply uh, to gizma business school and secure admission also for students who have done uh, diploma 3 year diploma after their class 10th uh, even those students are eligible for our programs so uh, they should get in touch and uh, so we don't say no to these students uh, we consider them the degree the diploma equivalent to class 12 qualification so yeah uh, and we treat them accordingly okay that that is nice we have a lot of programs available in different universities and i can see all the kind of programs are available so absolutely yeah the yeah, students don't have to worry about where to go which program to choose they have n number of programs available so that that is a very very good part about gizma and because it's a mixture of different universities you have different options and students what i can say is just consider the point that you're getting additional scholarship for our october intake so you are very much encouraged to apply and if you want to apply you can send me your documents at info@landmarkimmigration.com or you can call us on 9041390412 you can also whatsapp the same documents on 9041390412 so we can start your application as as soon as possible and i also want to know more about this application thing do we have to pay any kind of application fees while applying uh- no there is no application fee for our programs uh, and uh, the application process is very smooth there are no interviews involved so the, the students just have to submit their documents and okay. uh, submit and even if they do not have any ielts score uh, even then they can apply using a medium of instruction letter that has been issued by their uh, school or their college uh, so for uh, students who want to study a masters program they can submit a medium of instruction letter from their college so basically their principal or uh, registrar whoever is in charge they can issue a letter on the letterhead saying that the medium of instruction for the students program 
was uh, English or that the program was taught completely in English. And then we will issue a IELTS waiver to the student and they will not have to worry about appearing for IELTS, PT or any other equivalent exam. They get a waiver. So there is no interview. There is no IELTS and the offers are pretty quick. Yes. Yeah. So in most cases, the uh, offers are released between 24 to 48 hours. And in case some documents are missing or something has to be recent, then it takes around three days to get an offer. So in less than three days, you will get your offer. And there are no hassles. There's no application fee. There's no IELTS required. And there's no interview required. Just your basic document. There's no letters of reference required. Uh, there's uh, so basic document, academic, state. 12th your degree mark sheets if they are available uh, passing certificate if available and your uh, resume and a statement of purpose that is it that too very simple there's no um, th th no uh, uh, let's say a thesis required in terms of statement of purpose just a simple uh, document uh, with three paragraphs three 300 words that says why do you want to do this program why with university of law or whichever university you're applying to and that is it and that should be enough to get you an unconditional offer in uh, uh, less than 72 hours that is nice the application process is very quick you don't have to pay anything you don't have to go for IELTS or any kind of english proficiency test you can apply on the basis of medium of instruction so student this is this is the very good option for you if you want to apply you can simply apply on the basis of medium of instruction letter as explained by sir so you it's it's a big relief for my students i can say most of them, them are very much reluctant to give and they don't have to go for the interviews as well. Absolutely. That, that's the very good part. Yeah. Okay, before going on to any other question or any other requirement, uh, this would have, I would have asked in the start only, but I now would like to uh, talk something about why Germany. Because it's it's something our students wants to know. Why Germany they why should they go to Germany for their studies? Right. So um uh, so uh, Germany has become a very attractive study destination for students over the last three years. Uh, so uh, what has changed is that Germany, uh, if you go online, you search about the world's top economy. Germany is one of the world's top five economies. Even though in size it is pretty small, the size of the economy is pretty big. Now to sustain that level of economic activity, they need people. They do not have enough people in the country to sustain uh, their economy. That is why they have been looking at increasing the immigration uh, from uh, overseas over the last three years. So initially, uh, they were looking to expand uh, the immigration program only to the European Union. But uh, over the last one and a half years, they have expanded it uh, to um, outside the European Union as well. So even in uh, February 2020, they eased the immigration laws so that people from outside the European Union can get jobs very easily in Germany after completion of their study program. So they have been easing up these immigration laws. So it becomes very easy for a student from, let's say, India to go to Germany to study, to find a part time job or a full time job and make a life there. So he uh, uh, so one of the good things, the first thing that is good is that uh, uh, the process is not very difficult to get a long term visa. Right. Uh, it might take some time because of the number of applicants right now. But yeah, once you are there, it's very easy, straightforward. You don't have to go every month or every three months to get it, uh, get your visa restamped or anything like that. Uh, you can get straightaway extensions till the end of your program. And thereafter, for 18 months direct, uh, you'll get 18 month extension till uh, for uh, after completion of your program. And after you get a full time job, you submit your contract, then you get an extension till the end of your contract. So if you get a three year contract from your company, you straight away get a three year visa extension. So uh, that takes a lot of uh, pressure off your mind that you have to go and get it stamped again or anything like that. So that way they have made it very easy. Number two is how what they have done is uh, that employers now, now do not have to prove anything before offering a job to uh, somebody from, for example, let's say India. So earlier, the employers needed to uh, prove that they could not find equivalent uh, talent from Germany or from the European Union before they could offer those jobs to Indians or somebody from outside the European Union. That has now been scrapped and uh, that has now made it much more easier for students from India uh, who have graduated from a German school to find a full time job in Germany and get a long term contract there.
and uh, third is that the permanent residency uh, options are very easy so students can get a permanent residency they can apply for permanent residency in as low as uh, uh, two years in 22 months that would be the first option uh, if they do not want to learn german language it's not mandatory even with without German language proficiency, students can get uh, a permanent residency in 33 months or um, in a maximum of around five years. Just that students have to uh, keep working and keep paying their social contributions on a regular basis, pay their taxes on time, not uh, uh, do anything fishy. And uh, they at the max, they'll get your permanent residency in five years. And uh, the students are generally eligible for uh, citizenship in around uh, eight years. So uh, that also becomes a very good option for students who, ha who are planning to stay there for long term. And uh, with the citizenship, they can get a German passport, which is among the uh, world's most pow powerful passports. And yeah, so that is something that they do have to, uh, uh, to look forward to and which is amazing. Uh, now, in terms of jobs, uh, there is no lack of part-time or full-time jobs. Uh, during the pandemic, there were a few hiccups because of all the closures. Everything was closed. But uh, uh, since June and July, everything in Germany has reopened. Even the places of worship, parks, schools, restaurants, malls, uh, uh, shops, everything is open now. And all the jobs are back. People are traveling. People are going on their holidays. Uh, and Germany has also started uh, uh, air bubbles with different countries. So even uh, other other than the job seekers or other than the uh, regular population, the tourists have also started coming back to Germany. And uh, that this has again brought all the jobs to almost the level uh, back to pre-COVID levels. So uh, students will be able to now find uh, part-time jobs very easily. And once they complete their program, full-time jobs again very easily. Uh, last week, German government announced a four trillion euro uh, uh, package uh, to uh, four sorry four billion euro package uh, to bring the economy again back on track. They said in, in addition to the one billion euro package that they declared uh, at the uh, start of March 2020. So uh, the government is pumping in a lot of money into the economy. Uh, uh, in Berlin, outside Berlin, uh, uh, Tesla is opening their Giga factory, hopefully by next year or maximum by 2022. Uh, so yeah, there are there would be around 20,000 more jobs being created through that one uh, company alone. And with all the money that is being pumped in by other companies and the government, students have a lot of jobs to look forward to and great careers ahead. So yeah, future looks very bright for students who want to go to Germany. Yes, I can see they, they have all, I don't know, they, these were some of the points that you have already explained. These are these were some of the points every student are then and now asking me. And they, they uh, if they have, if students, if you're viewing us, this was a very informative session for you because now you're very much clear about your work permit process, your PR process, citizenship, how is the COVID situation going on in the Germany. And Germany has come up to be a very, a country that has handled COVID so well that it's it's almost vanished from there. Yeah, so and the it, German healthcare system is one of the best healthcare systems in the world. And this was proved by the number of fatalities that they had and the, how quickly they were able to contain the entire corona situation. So right now, Germany has been open for the last uh, oh, more than two months now. So uh, and the number of cases are around 10,000 active cases out of which around 9,000 plus are uh, non-critical and uh, under home quarantine so there's no burden on their healthcare system as well and they are well equipped to handle any cases any relapses if and when they happen and uh, so yeah that is a very um, what do you say uh, that is something that should give a lot of confidence to uh, yeah. parents that if their ch if their ward if their children are going to germany to study a program that they are in safe hands they are in a country that has an excellent healthcare system and they do not have anything to worry about uh, that is that is something really nice for students. You should consider this point uh, because this is the need of the hour. Safety is something that we all are considering first nowadays. So Germany being the safest country, now accepting students, you don't have to wait here in India. You're getting your visas. You can fly over there. You don't have to go for any kind of English proficiency test. And above all, you are getting 33% of scholarship. So why not? Why can't you just apply right away for October intake? 
if you don't want to lose on scholarship if you don't want to lose on your career it is the it is the high high time to go for the applications and for the visa process so uh, thank you so much suraj for explaining us uh, about germany so well and it was it was actually very very good for me as well now i would ask let you uh, know more about uh, the process for tuition fees and everything how our students can pay for the tuition fees for the universities that comes under gizma okay uh, so students just have to pay a minimal deposit of 2000 euros at the after they accept their unconditional offer and uh, uh, just that 2000 euro is enough to apply for the visa secure a visa and travel to germany after that uh, the balance fee students can pay in uh, installments over a period of 5 to 6 months so they have monthly installments in which uh, they can easily pay so that comes out to around 1200 to 1400 euros per month um, so they don't have to pay the entire fee at once they don't have to pay let's say semester fee at once uh, they can easily uh, pay very small installment and uh, once they get their jobs also then they'll be able to make some money and maybe contribute part of the uh, let's say uh, the uh, fees themselves so that it does not burden uh, put any burden on their parents or anything like that if they are paying through uh, their student loan then it will be easy for them to uh, pay in a six month basis and uh, they can also uh, work part time side by side 20 hours per week to earn as much as they want uh, we have students who are earning between 800 euros uh, to Uh, 2200 euros per month so depending on the student's qualification previous experience and the type of job that they are working with they can uh, they can actually earn a lot of money and save a lot of money while they are working in germany so uh, in terms of tuition fees a uh, very easy very in, uh, in installments they can pay and uh, just a deposit of 2000 euros is all they, that they need to pay from india yeah that's that's very easy for them they don't have to burden themselves or their parents for the fee they can pay the fees in installments as well so this this is something very very good for our students even scholarships are there and what is the duration of bachelor's and masters can you please explain so we have two part? options for bachelor programs uh, three year programs for students who have scored above 65% marks in class 12 and we have the four year option for students who have scored between 50 to 65% uh, this one is with foundation year Uh, in terms of uh, for master programs uh, all of our masters programs are for one year uh, so we do not want students to spend too much time studying when they could actually be earning full time so all of the programs have been condensed into a one year duration and within these 12 months they complete everything from their uh, mandatory modules to their optional modules to everything else and uh, after completion of their one year program they can uh, Uh, get their degree and they they can work full time. Uh, they generally have to go to classes twelve to fifteen hours per week. So it's not it's not like they have to go every day for eight eight, eight nine hours to the college to do that. Uh, generally, the sessions are conducted two to five p.m. Uh, German time, so uh, students can finish their work in the morning. Whatever they have, if, even if they want to work in morning shift, they can do that and then join the college in the afternoon. And if, and then thereafter, they can work in night shift if they want, because the college is just for three hours, and that too between two to five days a week, uh, depending on the module. So not very bur- not. not there's no burden on the students about studying too much or spending too much time in the college they uh, are grown ups they are expected to manage their uh, jobs and uh, their studies and in terms of examination there are no uh, paper uh, paper application or sorry uh, examinations like that happen in uh, indian colleges so there are a lot of assignments uh, group assignments individual assignments on which the students are graded so there is no uh, exam as such uh, similar to what happens in india so it's easier for students to complete their studies and focus on both their studies and their jobs um, uh, which is what generally the students uh, want that that is nice so it gives my providing all the kind of helps to our students absolutely we have been even- when uh, in the current times of corona uh, we, we are following all the government guidelines we have installed hand sanitizer stations uh, we are even giving uh, students uh, free masks uh, and uh, gloves whenever required wherever required so all of those facilities are being provided by gizma to ensure that our students remain safe uh, the classrooms have been uh, re the uh, have been uh, uh, let's say um, 
the furniture has been uh, reset to make sure that students uh, stay uh, mandate that uh, two uh, that four feet six feet uh, uh, distance requirement is maintained and all the government guidelines are followed so we are doing all everything that is required from our end to ensure that the students are safe thank you so much for the same and actually it was a very informative session as well i guess we have covered most of the points it just one point is left for my question like a lot of students comes to me they have gap up to 10 years five more than that i just want to know more about is gap is also acceptable while going for the application or while filing for the visa all right so there are two kinds of students uh, the first one would be uh, where they say there is an academic gap so let's say somebody passed out in 2010 and they have been working ever since uh, uh, and uh, now they want to start their masters program uh, or bachelors program for that matter so it does not matter there is no so anything so if a student has been working uh, uh, there is no restriction on the academic gap at all so anybody uh, we have students uh, aged uh, 40 45 uh, 50 even 53 years old who have successfully received their study visa so germany as a country does not put any restriction on any academic gap that is one second is if somebody has not worked Uh, then a gap of up to two years is accepted without explanation, uh, whether it is after their class twelfth or after their bachelor's. So up to two years, uh, if the student has not done anything, not worked at all, uh, even that gap is acceptable. Anything more than that will need to be justified. Uh, with a logical explanation, for example, let's say that uh, uh, let's say we have a female student who got married and uh, was uh, uh, settling down with her husband, and that is why or had kids, and that is why there is a break of three or four years in between. So that is a logical explanation, and we accept that. So there is no uh, proof necessary for that period. But uh, in case somebody has been preparing uh, for let's say various exams, so that is a logical explanation, and that can be given, and we will accept that. So yeah. otherwise so there's no um, condition that there cannot be any gap or anything like that we accept students with academic gap and uh, regular gap as well that is also a very good relief for my student they don't have to uh, worry about if they are if they have dropped their studies like uh, far ago i don't mean that they have dropped or it's, it's just they have put a break so students if you have put a break for your studies and now you're looking to go for studies once again you are all welcome to apply and you are mostly encouraged to apply as soon as possible you can and thank you so much suraj for this informative session it was actually very informative we talked about online classes to the germany and about the requirements for different universities it was it was a very informative session for my students thank you thank you so much for joining us Thank you so much for having me here today. It was a pleasure speaking to you, and hopefully, uh, uh, the students who are listening to us or who would be listening to the watching the video later, uh, they would find it very informative, and all their answers questions would be answered. Yes, for sure. And then I can see some questions, but okay, let me see. There was some specific question regarding the work permit extension. So yes, I guess it would be there. Gizma will help the student for the work permit. Uh, Gizma helps students with work permit extension. We even uh, so all the students uh, what they need to do is go to the campus, uh, speak to our visa team there, and uh, just hand over their documents. Our visa team will even fill out their forms. and submit it on the student's behalf we'll take an authority letter from the student to uh, allow us to uh, go to labo uh, the that's the foreigners registration office in germany and submit the documents on the student's behalf so the students don't have to worry about anything we will take care of the entire process on our own they just need to submit whatever documents are required copies of their notarized copies of their academic documents and as such and that is it Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the answer. Thank you so much, Suraj, for joining us. And thank, thank you so, so much, much for, for having me here. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Okay, students. So it was actually a very informative session for all of us. So you are now more clear about Germany. Why should you apply? And I encourage you. I highly, I highly encourage you to apply for Germany study visa. because there are a lot many really leverages that has been given by the germany government and by the universities then that would also help you to save a lot of time 
you can fly over there you can study there and why i have uh, continued the session because i can see few questions of my students that i would now like to answer so first one is from davinder kaur so with the yes practical nursing is very much relevant your percentage is perfect your bands are perfect go go for your filing go for your visa if you haven't applied, gone for the fee payment you should you are encouraged to go for the fee payment first and go for your visa process okay then anyone from cdi sir i have chosen algonquin college ottawa for practical nursing yeah that's fine govindra it's a public college it's a good college in the capital city okay so let me see few more questions of yours and then i can take a leave also obviously lovely you cannot apply for masters without a bachelor's degree you have to show your bachelor's degree mark sheet if you have 75% yeah you are eligible to apply but then uh, i can't just apply on the basis of your 12th without your mark sheet so you have to provide it to me gopi rai aroda hi ma'am i'm from new zealand could you please tell me what is the requirement of canada study visa gopi it would be same for the students uh, applying it would be same as the international students you have to go for ielts pg toefl and if you want to go for the applications you could contact me at 9041390412 as uh, so i have got uh, 94% to lcbsc 27 bands i have a practical nursing as my course so is my course relevant so mean right you it it is relevant appointments are you can get appointments pavan you need to contact to us or to contact your agent for the same german embassy among language certification yeah students uh, generally students go for german language course it's 42 weeks or 44 weeks for the undergraduate students and 48 weeks for the post graduate students so love free saran you can go for the same and visas also come on the same in the sen you are saying kahi to bhej do germany bhej do it's not kahi to bhej do germany mein hi germany uh the education of germany is so well designed that it's not kahi bhi it's the it's the best place to go so you should apply for the same jan and take would be fine you can also go for the october and take because 33% scholarship is there okay so i have i guess answered most of the questions uh, landmark immigration is there with you all the time you can call us on 9041390412 info at rate landmarkimmigration.com you can send us your documents we'll assess it for you we'll revert you back and we'll help you out with the same how much chances lovepreet a lot a lot of pavan yes there are problems coming on but it's not you are unable to take you will get it soon so thank you so much students for joining me thank you so much uh, for listening to us regarding gizma mr suraj were there he has explained us so well about the uh, requirements and everything now i would request you to if you want to continue watching us if you don't want to miss on our videos on our informative videos you should subscribe to our channel you should like our pages you can press the bell icon so you can get the notifications whenever we come live it's it's the best information you can get so thank you so much for joining me a very good afternoon and stay safe stay healthy